Okay, today I'll be showing you how to create a bootable XP installation onto your USB device. We'll be using PE to USB to do this. Okay, so what you, you need to have three things your USB, your XP CD disk, and a computer that will support uh, USB booting from the BIOS. So what you want to do is first plug it in, then click refresh. Okay, and as you can see, I've got the verbatim store and go USB device, which is four gigabytes. The minimum you need is one gigabyte, because XP is around seven hundred megabyte, something like that. Okay, so what you want to do is check enable disk format, and then hit quick format. Now what we want to do is find the source files. Okay, so if you've got your XP CD or your yeah, CD in the drive, just click on it. And here is my one's a bit different because this is for a Samsung NC10. So you can see you have all the files in here. Then you just click on the drive and hit OK. You can also do this with a folder. So say it was in this folder, the whole installation disk click on it and press OK. OK, but this will not work with ISOs I believe. If you mount the ISO it would work, but that's a different story. OK, so all you have to do then is click File Copy Options, enable that and then do No Overwrite, oh, <laughs> Overwrite If Never and Overwrite Always. I would just stick with No Overwrite because you're going to format it anyway. And all you have to do is hit Start and it will start, yep, as this message PE to USB, continue, yes I'm doing this on a German installation of XP okay so you just click yes again and as you can see it's now formatting the drive oh this just popped up with my drive verbatim G which was what we used I'll just go ahead and close this and now it's copying everything. This will take about 20 minutes, so I'm going to pause the video now. Okay, now it's 99%, it's 99% done. Wait, so it's 100%. So, yeah, if you like this tutorial, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you wouldn't mind, you can you also head over to my website? Maybe click on a few adverts. There you go, operation completed successfully. Click OK, comes back up with this. Let's just see if all the files are there. And here we go. This is the G drive verbatim. Yeah, there's quite a lot of files. Properties, as you can see, there is 3.73 gigabytes of space on here and it's copied over 903 megabyte now but it's 903 megabyte on my one because it's a special disk it's got SP3 in it as well uh, I didn't slipstream it but you can slipstream it I might do a tutorial on that so yeah if you have any questions about anything or you'd like to see me do a t another tutorial on something that you'd like to do or you'd like to see please just drop me a line on YouTube I'm always checking the messages on there so yeah Thanks again for watching and please subscribe.